Hi, I'm Calvin and I'm Michael. Today's video is on fiery reds. And this is the brush vlog. In today's video, we have four different ladies all going for the same Emma Stone red color. Uh, what we've decided to do as like a little bit of a fun, exciting day is have two of the apprentices partner off with me and two partner off with Michael and we'll formulate with them to create the looks on the four different ladies today. Okay, so because she has box colored hair, we're going to use bleach from roots to ends to lift all the color and give us a nice clean slate to work with. Rinse it all out and then go ahead and put the beautiful copper tone on top. And I am working on Rebecca. She came in today with a red color already and we used a color remover and lifted her base a couple of levels and we are now going to shadow her root and then gloss over the ends. So she started off with uh, really light blonde ends. So first I went in and I just like did a filler um, just because we were going like darker. And then once I washed that out, I uh, blow dried it and then over top I put a permanent color. I did a darker color for the roots and the mids and then I did a lighter formula for her ends. Yeah, so I wanted to do more of like a shadowed root on Flo and then just bring the color down and do a bit more of a color melt on her. Um, hopefully her ends are a little bit brighter and then, yeah, the color will go over top. So we just filled, we, Emily just filled Janine's hair. So this is just step one because we're going from blonde to a copper. We want to make sure we get the pigment in the hair first. So now we're going to dry and then we're going to formulate for the all over color. So we get a lot of people asking us about our apprenticeship program and what it is that we do. Uh, we hire people straight from hair school who have gone through a hair school program and kind of know the foundation of hair. And like I've said before, everybody comes in with a different story and a different experience and we need to be able to cater to that um, individuality in every, in every service. Um, so working with my apprentices, I mean it can be challenging sometimes because they're all coming from different perspectives with different ideas on what that experience should be like for a client, but then really molding their minds to all kind of be on the same page. Um, an analogy that I love is if you imagine going to a bar, and there's a drink menu, and there's like tons of different cocktails on the menu. They're all at the same place, but there are a different variety of cocktails. So I'd like my stylist to all be a different drink on the menu, you know? Not everyone wants to have the same drink, not everybody is a Negroni person. <laughs> uh, not everybody loves mojitos, but everybody will love at least one thing that's available on the menu. So let's all have a good night together. <laughs> A lot of time is invested in being a red. You have to get it done quite frequently. Usually most redheads come in about every six to eight weeks. Um, just because red um, is a, the color molecule itself actually doesn't like to hold on to the hair. Um, so it can fade quite quickly. So it's a definitely a little bit more of a high maintenance hair color. Um, but it's very beautiful and it has a lot of shine to it, which is nice. I love it. It's fun. It feels well, I haven't done it in so long, so it feels pretty cool. I feel new, actually. I feel good. I feel very different. It's a lot lighter, brighter. I don't know, I, I haven't quite gotten used to it yet. <laughs> uh, I really like it, but I'm going to have to start doing my eyebrows differently now. <laughs> I really like it, yeah. So that's our video on reds today. Today I worked with Brittany and Emily, and Michael worked with Sabrina and Asia. So as you could see, we had four different ladies with four different starting points and four different approaches. Some were darkening and some were lightening. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next week.